Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic of uh, Gilford theory of structure of intelligence. So, so as we know, there are many theory of intelligence. So, Gilford theory is known as sometimes three D model, uh, three three dimensional theory or structure of intelligence theory or SI model or SOI model. So Gilford said that uh, uh, Gilford said that every human, every human being uh, is doing a mental work uh, uh, in the uh, mental work in this work uh, as in this in this work uh, in this in this mental work has uh, many intellectual ability of in, included with. It. So, according to J.P. Gelford and his associate, develop a model of intelligence uh, on the basis of factorial analytical research studies, and which involves the number of intel uh, which involves the number of intelligent facts. So, so they conclude that every mental process or every mental uh, ability can be described in terms of three different basic dimensions or parameters. And such dimensions or parameters are operation, contents, and product. So, operation is refers to the term, uh, the act of thinking or what respondent does. So, operations have, there are uh, six elements which is cognition, Memory recording, memory retention, uh, divergent thinking, convergent thinking, and evaluation. So, content refers to the uh, in which we think, or uh, it refers to the uh, the nature of materials or information information uh, uh, on which intellectual intellectual uh, intellectual operation performed. So operation has, uh, there are uh, five types elements uh, which, which are um, uh, which are visuality, auditory and uh, uh, symbolic, symmetric and behavior. So the uh, next point is uh, products. So products is refers to the uh, ideas. Uh, products refers to the ideas and uh, we comes up or or it is the result of our thinking. So product has there are six elements which are unique, classes uh, and uh, relations, system, transmission and interpretation. So Gilford theory, uh, according to Gilford theory, is proposed there are uh, six into five into six equals to, equals to one eighty mental ability. And uh, and he and he first time propose the propose his model and there will be 120 mental ability that has contains uh, which has fast operations and four contents and six products and again he modified his model and he become can become as 150 abilities which involve there are uh, five contents. Uh, four, sorry, five contents, five operations, and uh, six products. So the next point is discuss Marx and Hilary. Hello everyone. Uh, today here we discuss about the Gilford SI model. So my friend has already described the structure of Gilford model and his various view the version of this model. And now I'm going to discuss about the Gilford. Uh, Three dimensional parameters about uh, their elements and uh, about the educational implication of this model. So, first we go to this uh, picture. We can see on this uh, chart that if the inquiry shape uh, before uh, present is uh, three dimensional model uh, uh, along with the three axis of the figure, that x, y, z axis, we know the figure uh, has three. Dimension with length, breadth, and weight. So, so before uh, arrange this uh, these two dimensional parameters along with the two orders 
modified our uh, uh, curriculum and teaching method using this model. And uh, once more, we should make it, uh, uh, get more attentive about the intellectual abilities of children, of students, and uh, we can provide the uh, and we can provide uh, some remedial teaching enrichment program for the slow learners who have some problems or the uh, one who are unable to equally perform their uh, abilities with the uh, gifted child and many more. And now, uh, lastly, uh, we can provide the creative, uh, provide, the, uh, provide some effective teaching to the students, uh, which is very important for them because uh, by correct, uh, providing correct curriculum teaching uh, using this design model, uh, we can see uh, the strong point and the weak point of the students. You can, uh, what is the, uh, for uh, using this, uh, we can also find out uh, for which uh, direction to go, if the student go to which direction it is good for him and which is uh, bad for him. Okay. So that's all we are have we have to discuss today about the core SI model. Uh, so thank you for listening us. So we have uh, some questions uh, to ask for you. So please cooperate with us. Okay, uh, my uh, first question uh, is for Devon. Yes, please tell us. Okay. Uh, you for the use in this model, uh, in this model, you for use the uh, uh, mathematical analytical process, uh, whatever we say at the start. So, what is it? Can you name it? I can't uh, specifically name the mathematical process, but he multiplied those components and formed the gist of all the components, the quality elements from the Contents, products, and this last one, and see that the operations. So we multiplied all of them, forming, uh, forming the model Rubik's cube. Just calculated all the sides. That's why it's three dimensional. Three okay, dimensional. Uh, he used its uh, analysis. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Sit down. So one more question. Can we answer it? Yeah, maybe. Very simple. Three model is how many dimension? Three dimension. What is this? X, Y, and Z axis. X, Y, and Z axis. Okay. So that's all. Thank you.